Hey folks, it's Preston here from I Do Stuff Carpentry, and today I'm doing some fire blocking. Um, and we have a kind of a unique situation here, but it's not, not unique, but a common situation. But, you know, many people may not think to do this, um, and it may not be required in all areas, but I imagine that it would be. Uh, but in my area, it is uh, required. So um, right here, as you can see, we have a... soffit and in that soffit uh you have lighting all right you have hvac electrical right so it's easy for i guess we could say a fire to start up the wall and go in you see you have electrical out of here here um <clears throat> what needs to happen is fire blocking as you can see i already started um and this is a wall that, that'll get sheet rocked right these studs you can sheet rock these at space 16 inches on center um and if you can see what i did up here i took a two by four i cut it to the width between the studs and i put it up in there right then i took two nails bang bang nailed it in and that's gonna uh, act as fire blocking uh so smoke uh <clears throat> so fire and air cannot climb up the wall. So what you have to do in this case, because I have a soffit right next to a wall, you have to separate the spaces. So the vertical space has to be uh, separated from the horizontal space up top, right? So air can't just, uh, air can't feed a flame and go up and over the wall, right? So the way we do that is you have to separate the spaces and this is what's going to separate the space, this and the sheetrock. So put a two by four here. Um, if you're framing with two by six, put a two by six there. Uh, you can also use rock wool and stuff like that, right? So rock wool is an approved uh, method of fire blocking and you can use that. But I put this here on uh, the two by four in. I'm going to continue on down the wall. Um, fire blocking, fire blocking. Right here where I have electrical, I'm going to, because it's just such such a pain in the neck um to get anything in there i'm going to use rock wool rock wool has to come at least 16 inches down the wall so when you put the rock wool up go ahead and staple it to the top to your uh your top plate up there then uh tuck it down behind the wall and it needs to come 16 about 16 inches down the wall in my area right and that also that also uh keeps the area separated right um you just want to make sure that that airflow is blocked out and also as you can see here in the wall i have fire blocking foam <clears throat> in every little hole that the electricians drilled in i put <clears throat> i put fire blocking foam so so that's what i'm doing today and you know hopefully um you learned something from this if you did uh give me a thumbs up uh and like and subscribe
All right, so see what I've done there. In the areas where there are electrical wires, you can't do this. You have to use uh, rock wool. So I'll use rock, rock wool here. I'll use rock wool in this bay, this bay, this bay, and this bay. All right. Also, this is something good to note. You have to, every 10 feet, you have to break this soffit down, right? Or uh, put a fire block in the soffit. So from the edge down there to my X here is 10 feet. So I have to put a piece of sheetrock in here or plywood in here and up to stop airflow from this way, from this way as well. So there we go.